Thomas was alone. Well, but we had first thought to have. Listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to. What's the word? Jump. It worked! Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. I love this game. It is so awesome. Oh, crap. I know it's slowing down my computer. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't <laughs> want him to fail here. It was pushing him. There we go. Gently. Oh, I'm also mixing ha missing hex chat. I cannot see the stream chat. No. Xchat runs so much better on my laptop than it does on my desktop, and I have no idea why. <clears throat> cool. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Not setting anything in high priority with my processor. This all seemed a little dangerous. Oh poop. The world. I need that achievement. This all seemed a little dangerous. Haha. The world I got it. not to be trusted. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable. And it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect I love this music. I went and bought, uh, what was it? Somebody suggested Dear Esther, I think. Thomas I went and bought it. Whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Deadpool. I think my girlfriend got. Oh shit! I hope she's. Well, she can't hear me if she's watching at work. But I think because before I left for Denmark, we went to this T-shirt shop where I get all my like superhero T-shirts and stuff. And I mentioned that I wanted this one shirt, and I think she might have picked it up because one of the Christmas presents seems like a shirt. Can't wait. I want it so bad. And knowing my girlfriend, she probably got it for me. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Uh, he made another mental note. Exploit or hex chat water. not running not proper. Good to be avoided. Oh. Alright, let's just close that. Alright. Somebody should type something in hex chat. Or in, uh, stream chat. Whoop. If 
somebody's typed something since I said that. I think my hex chat's broke. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note taking could combat that. <laughs> Strange. Ooh. Pretty sure there was an achievement block. Eh. Somewhere in this level as well. Or achievement thingy. Oh, there we go. I got a squeak. Fnurgle squeak. Well, maybe there isn't an achievement doodad in here. Nope, doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, man, it's got all sorts of achievements. Jump 800 times. Eh. Oh, I think I got a text. Eh. Move. I don't know, just email. Had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Oh, poor Thomas. Poor Thomas. What game did you think it was? Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? <laughs> had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually. Not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Whoop. Bearded guy game. <laughs> yeah, I love this game. Well, oh, yeah, that would probably be Jamestown. It's more like it. The glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it. Which, of course, made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Grace, Grace. Oh, well, poop. For Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously. This made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. By my beard. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry nope. little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. I'm sure he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point.
Ew. Warm pop is nasty. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. <laughs> he hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Don't even know that come to daddy thing. Oh, John. John knew. He knew that this <coughs> was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. <laughs> This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? Yeah, I, I don't know. Everything about this game is just awesome. It's relaxed and... Very John mellow. Inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use. Time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. It's the life of a pawn button. Achievement thingy. Ta da! That's what I was looking for. Nope. The music just plays. I think it does sort of progress as you get further in the level, but that could just be in my head. This is a fantastic game. Worth every penny. John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Thank you. 
poop. This game is fantastic. Like, I love the music. I love the guy who does the the dialogue. Like, I really can't complain about anything in this game. It's fantastic. Huh. Oh, he didn't poop! Mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumps. immediately likeable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. Yep. Oh, no, missed it. Poop. Ah. Yeah. Gotta pull some crazy Halo shit. Just so I can get that, uh, achievement doodad there. I think I gotta jump from this one? Nope. Hmm. Hmm? Nope. Hmm. Maybe I need Chris over here. Hmm. There we go. I got it! Achievement. Get! <laughs> oh, really? Poop. would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. <laughs> Cigarette. This was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like 
her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Like a boss. Quitting smoking like a boss. What? That's how, it, how I roll. The feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. Two superpowers. Now this is like vapor brand. I don't know. I've got. Let's see. I bought a couple. I bought this one too. But the, this one sucks. Clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water, which was her superpower. Right, fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Uh, vapor. V a p u r. This was cherry flavored. Claire arrived just in time. Ooh. It was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. The water began to rise. Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. In as many restarts as it took. Oh. Claire wondered if oh. Thomas would make a good sidekick. Well, Achievement. The Jet. Type. Like that. Oh, the sole poop. hero in a been world bad. of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. <laughs> oh man, got like a fruit fly or something going on. Not cool. The others told Claire that staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. This one glows blue, yeah. My other one doesn't. My other one is, uh, it glows red, but that one doesn't give, like, any sicker, like, smoke stuff. Yeah, this one, this one's cherry. And then they had grape at the store. Oops. A villain who would show their true colors at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough and his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Ah, oh, poop. Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. Wait, 
Ghost's gone. Was he off somewhere? Plotting Claire's downfall? <gasps> Claire was honest. <laughs> oh, she had to be because she was a superhero. This was a troubling turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. <laughs> Everybody should. I'm seriously thinking about making the kid play this game. It teaches about friendship and stuff. Alright, see you later, Nux. Have a good one. Multiple paths across oh, various possible configurations of the little posse. <laughs> they were doing really well. Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. Oh, so sweet. Ah, he's not dead. That's interesting. Bloop, 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 bloop. to be where there were rectangles to save. Nope. Being the only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. Spikes? Oh. You. Claire avoided them. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. <laughs> Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. <laughs> I love the audio, or the dialogue. It's freaking amazing. Ah, did it again. Well, deja vu. The world was repeating. And this time Thomas was here. Claire felt something had gone wrong. There was a disturbance in the force. Something had altered the matrix. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. It was plotting against them. Finally had a nemesis. The disturbance of the force. 